think it's uh, also appropriate that uh, we, the participants, thank Finn for his leadership. It was largely through his initiative that uh, we've gathered here. And uh, usually when you do these things as a leader, you go away with nobody thanking you. So please give uh, Finn a round of applause. Yeah. Now I thank all of you uh, for coming to Accra and staying even to a Friday afternoon uh, when you could have been doing better things like drinking beer, but uh, sitting with us and talking about migration and mobility, uh, new insights from the kind of research that we all do. We thank you for the dedication, the motivation uh, to be with us. This morning, we were unfortunate. Well, it depends on how you look at it, uh, whether you were fortunate or unfortunate with the rains. The farmers were very happy. And uh, those of us who have gardens were also very, very happy. But those who had to travel into the city for work or travel to uh, this place were extremely uncomfortable by the uh, early morning rains. And I know you, those of you coming from the African region to tell, were caught in the rains. The, the only reason why I bring the rains up, uh, they show you the kind of uh, challenges that uh, today, living in an African city, uh, you're likely to face. And how such sources of discomfort might lead to migration. <laughs> yes, there are many Ghanaians, the Ghanaian middle class, that can afford to live in many other cities of the world. And so when they see these kinds of uh, spending hours in traffic, say, no, why should I be here? There are many who, make, who decide not to return home because of traffic. And the traffic is getting worse and worse and worse by the day. So, of course, giving more and more reason why we should be more research on the diaspora. The, the diaspora, the diaspora hates traffic. <laughs> anyway, so with all of these, clearly, uh, I'm trying to make the point that uh, the sources of material for our interest in research change by the day. Uh, the kinds of data that we use change by the day. It's our responsibility as researchers to do what is most appropriate, what is most relevant, and what is most likely to lead to an improvement in the lives of our people. That's what we are paid to do. That's what is expected of us. We, as Arua, will do everything possible to support African universities to be able to do these kinds of things. And I do hope the Africans amongst you uh, will join us. Join us in making research in Africa more exciting, more rigorous, and more interesting so that policymakers like Sylvia will find it useful, useful for their work. And as they find it useful for their work, they also spend more money on research. On that note, I thank all of you for coming, and I do hope you go away with extremely fond memories of the uh, University of Ghana and of uh, Accra, even with the drains choked and uh, come back. Thank you very much.